If we're going to put an excise tax of $3 on this market, you can either put it on the sellers, in which case it would shift up the supply curve by three, uh, or you could put the tax on the buyers, which would shift the demand curve downwards by three. Either way, more common to put the uh, tax on the sellers. So start out here, this is at zero. Uh, we're going to shift it up, or we're adding three to each production level. So just draw a new linear supply line right there, and that's going to be S plus tax. The price that the buyers pay will be 7, uh, so you could call that PB. That's a pretty good way to do that. And then the sellers don't get to keep 7. Uh, they only get to keep 4 because 3 of it has to go to the government. So this would be PS. The government tax uh, revenue is going to be this yellow area, which is the $3 tax times those four units. So that would be a total of uh, 12 there. And then the, finally, the deadweight loss is going to be the area uh, of loss to consumer surplus, which is that top part, and the loss to uh, producer surplus.